Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Contender Series show. Yes, sir. Today, we're getting ready to kick off the celebration. It's going, matter of fact, it's going on this morning. That's right. I can't wait. And, and tonight, so everybody be catching this. It will be on five times today, four times during the day, one late at night. But uh, looking forward to this year. Amazing. How many horses have you got entered? We got 19 all together. 19. You're going to be busy. Be busy. Because you got to be here every That's morning. That's right. It's going to be fun. Everybody's going to be working but Jerry. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. I want to remind everybody Saturday night, too. Flat River going to be here first Saturday night of the celebration from about 4 till or 4.30 to about 6.30. You got to do your job. We'll be right back after these commercials. <laughs> Jake Jacobs asks for your support as he rides for the roses on Brain Power in the amateur counter class at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Allie Jo Jacobs is heading in the 84th Walking Horse Celebration where she asked for your support in the Youth Country Pleasure Division seated on the first night out. Ali Jo will then be showing her riding skills in the Youth 11 and Under Equitation Division aboard A.T. Grant. Ali Jo and friends ask for your support during this year's celebration. Every year thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd when the world grand champion Tennessee walking horse will be crowned. Conduct the celebration today at 931-684-5915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Watch for me and Pocahontas as she competes in both open and amateur championship classes with Tyler Bauckham in open and Allison Armstrong and Allison Bicknell in the amateur division. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Please stand and cheer for the team of I Am Uno. 
and Jake Jacobs in the Amateur Park Performance Division of the 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. One of the things that, and we've talked about this many, many times, is all the different avenues for our horse. And we've got a couple of, well, it's a father son, but like you, we've got Justin Todd and Jackson Todd that train these trail horses, but they get them, they're getting them to do the obstacles, which this is something that's, that's real important to this industry because we've got so much different competitions yes. and one of them is the the, the obstacle courses. courses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to have a lot of patience to do this right here. And they, they seem like they have a lot of patience with them horses and calm and easy with them and teaching them different things. Well, I watched them as a, a lot of times they will walk them through it and then ride them through it. But like that right there, now he's up there doing that and doesn't have a bridle on that horse. That's the, he's barebacking up yes. with a halter. Mm -hmm. So that, that goes to show that once once they get trained, it's Tennessee Walking Horse is just something else. He says it's it's a lot of fun to train them. Uh, he said he just he enjoys it all. And Jackson, he claims Jackson's got glue in the seat of his pants because <laughs> he says when he gets on one, it's hard for him to get him off. <laughs> All right, Jerry, we're going to go to contenders because we got a lot of horses. You have a lot of them. That uh, looks like they're going to, we're going to have a bunch of winners on here. Yeah.
Harrisburg, South Carolina, Mr. Burrito and Jimmy McConnell. Walking champions tonight, that is Tanner Burks up, honors image, Shane Porterfield owns the champion, Murfreesboro. Mr. Burks. Walking champions tonight. Link Webb is up. Congratulations. That is, I am honors. Don and Lucky Collins. They own the fine entry. Bell Bumper.
Jake Jacobs family asks you to support the team of Jake Jacobs and Grayton Beach as they compete for top honors during the 84th celebration in the amateur four-year-old division. Again to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Stand and cheer for Team Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors as they strive for the championship honors and the roses to prove it in the amateur division. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. J&J Stables asks for your support by saying yes to Sir and Jeremy Jensen in the two-year-old stallion division during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. Say yes to Sir. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. <laughs> Making the good blue ribbon ride, Jane Porterfield, the owner of Mercury's Borough. Blue ribbon winner in the class for the two-year-old man, Miguel, and Tanner Burke's Smiley Gray. Once again, that's Manny, entry number 105. Taylor Walker rides for Kelsey Andrews. Join for Jane Porterfield and Dodson Brothers, Thompson Station in Murfreesboro. Take a look at Daniel Smith R and Ferrari 308. Winners of 
class for the amateur all in train. Give Dahlia a nice round of applause as she leaves the show ring. Uh, let's take a look at our amateur ladies, Mayors and Guilty's winner. She's limitless. And she's our blue ribbon winner tonight. Molly Walters makes the winning ride aboard the entry of Kelsey Andrews from Rancho Mirage, California. She's limitless. And Molly Walters with a Saturday night blue ribbon ride here in Columbia. Let's take a look at Epic coming down the south rail and across the board. Unanimous selection of the judging panel. A triple blue ride by Megan Davis, Trap Rock Farm, Shelbyville. Spring Jubilee in the class for the amateur riders on the three year old stadium. Mayor Bill, our first performance winner. Dan Waddell making the Blue Ribbon Ride, George and Kim Lewis, the owners. What a night. Two Blue Ribbon Rides for the gentleman from Lettuce, Pennsylvania. In this ring on the 15, two and under, a kingpin. Bill Bob Adcock, a nice round of applause as he leaves the show ring. Ariel, a nice round of applause as he leaves the show ring. Uh, Jacob's family, Henry Murfreesboro.
twisted with honors. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's a victory pass. And Dan Waddell, your Mary K Marydale Kilgore Memorial two-year-old stallion winner. Jesse Magnus Legate on the entry of Shelbyville. A victory pass. And Dan Waddell, congratulations. Riders Cup three-year-old stallion blue ribbon winner. Orangeburg, South Carolina. Jimmy McConnell and Voyager. Congratulations. Robert Deutsch, your owner exhibitor of Greensboro, North Carolina. Your amateur three year old Mary Gelly, Blue Ribbon winner. Kid Can Do and Robert Deutsch. Congratulations. We're ready for one final ride tonight. And it belongs to Walk for Roses and Red Sox. Your champion here at the Classic. Brassy Logan and Manos on the entry of Shelbyville.
Keith and Susie Johnson on the entry of Shelbyville. Abby, Smoke and Joe, and Keith Johnson, congratulations. Pocahontas, your Pro-Am winner. Allison Armstrong's entry from Hickory. Your Riders Cup four-year-old Stallions winner at the Christmas in July Horse Show. Mike Floyd owns the Stallion from Columbia. That's Boone's Gin and Jimmy McConnell. Our walking stake champion, Mach 1 and Jimmy McConnell. The Molly Walters family owns the entry of Rancho Mirage, California. Mach 1 and Jimmy McConnell, congratulations. The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support for R.M. Kellett as he glides Mr. True Blue toward the championship honors in the four-year-old counter division at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. I know each one, so uh, get your cat off from me, you're sitting yourself with the rules. Want everybody to know the rules of the games we're here today? So! 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 so. RPMG. So, Jim Howdy. There's your black stud coat by I am three time world grand champion world. I am Jose, is his daddy. There's opportunity. The bid, 27. Where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call. What do you get down to it, Doug? So! So, you got me 2600, 2600 here, but then 56 and a half. 5600. Do I have a better than that five beer six? So, 5,500, you bought 5,500. And so, 1,100 mark call, take a mark call, 1,100, you bought. So, so, so. You break one, break the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right, I gotta say this, but so, 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 you bought it. He's back and ready to wear the roses, so Allison Armstrong asks you to stand and cheer as Tyler Balkum guides old Troubadour towards another World Grand Championship. Allie Jo Jacobs asks for your support when she enters the 84th celebration with her performance horses in the 11 and under division seeking top honors with Cole Hahn. Aljo Jacobs will then be aboard her World Grand Champion. I'm Coach Hal in a second 11 and under class. Ali Jo will be entering the 11 and under pony division aboard Da Haas and once again ask for your support. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Watch El Hombre in Black as he carries Jake Jacobs in his quest to wear the roses in the four-year-old amateur stallion class during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. I'll take another look at primetime player and Bill Calloway, two-year-old stallion winner here at Cornersville. Kimberly and Perry Walden on the entry of Shelbyville. Primetime player and Bill Calloway, congratulations. This Cup Show Pleasure winner. Shamrock Farms owns the entry of Shelbyville. Back in black and Knox Blackburn, congratulations. Take another look at Jimmer's Country Girl and Carol Baxter. Your amateur two-year-old Marion Gelding Blue Ribbon winner here in Cornersville. Lee and Carol Baxter on the entry. Jimmer's Country Girl and Carol Baxter, congratulations. Forma Lion and Josh Watts, congratulations.
and Mr. Charlie and Jimmy McConnell, congratulations. Down Victory Lane, that's I Am Big Enough and Maxine Beasley, your youth pony winner. Beth Beasley on the entry of Athens, Alabama.
saw their winner on there. Yes, I hope so. Because a bunch of them, I guarantee you, will be wearing the roses. That's right. A lot of them are going to be wearing blue ribbons. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to remind everybody, Saturday night from 4.30 to 6.30, the Flat River Band. That's I can't great. wait to hear them. Hey, I can't a wait. lot of people are going to be right next to the VFW Club, so you won't be able to miss them. That's right there at the David Howard entrance. Yes. All right. Good luck to everybody. Wish them all luck. You good luck to you. Everybody, good he luck. wishes everybody good luck. I wish everybody good luck. I everybody want everybody good luck. to have a good yes. time. Have a good one. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunger down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.